So it's August the 1st, day one of our self-love challenge. So I've done day two, so I'm a bit ahead of y'all because I'm in the past. So yesterday I passed that off to Atiola and to y'all the self-love is and provides and gives a refuge. So I'm wondering what you did for self-love extra today. <sighs> I came up and I, I worked today. Today was a day of rooms. I didn't start till 10, so I had the second shift. But I woke up and somehow thought that 9 o'clock was 10 o'clock. And so I showed up early. But that worked out well because one of the guests had checked out early, so was able to get that room done, and then um, the other room, and then I worked on some of the gardening stuff, clearing paths, that seems to be my thing. Um, <laughs> paths, paths, and laundry areas um, cleaned up. The laundry area pulled a bunch of the vines off. Um, clean, clean, clean. Uh, yeah, it's removing things that no longer serve or have outgrown or overgrown their usefulness in many, many ways. And having a physical representation of it, I've said before and I'll say again. It matters. <laughs> it brings it into matter. Especially when you do it with intention and you're offering it up, your service, offering it up for something. Um, yeah. So I did that, and then I took Barbara to her physical therapy appointment, so I got to explore the town a little bit. Got me some food at um, the Rebel grill and it was very good very good french fries with amazing sauces uh, with their own ketchup and fancy mustard and then um, some pepperoni fried in with it that really was good and then i got some soup it was a corn chowder that was special that was really good, and then I got me some honey for my tea, which that's, I'm going to go make me some tea here in a little bit. also bought me a steak. I'll probably eat that tomorrow, because my body, I'm O, blood, o positive blood type, and I require uh, for my muscles to hold on to strength. Um, my body needs red meat. I'll eat that tomorrow. I got food in the fridge. It's weird for me to fix food for myself. I've done much of that in my life. <laughs> and, um, yeah, choosing me. That's day number two. So tomorrow, that's your challenge. Is uh, It's okay to choose you and choose yours to love yourself. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow we don't have any guests checking in or out, so I think I might get to choose the things I wish to do a bit more, uh, or some more tomorrow, uh, clean up the paths some more, <laughs> uh, wash my clothes, um, yeah, a few things, and, uh, yeah, getting more paths clear. And I kind of like the gardening stuff. And, uh, but there's other cleaning stuff to be done, too. I got some uh, 
organizing stuff that can be done. So I'm going to keep watching this uh, light up a bit. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll do my Arenda update in a separate one. Because um, I'm keeping that separate for Barbara. And, uh, yeah. And I can feel like the energy kind of dropping down a little bit. It's been pretty high. Maybe I'm just settling a bit. My nervous system's settling. Um, that in-between got a little woo. Uh, generally does. This is better than it has been in the past, moving around. And, and this was by choice. It wasn't running away from anything. It was moving towards something. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, it feels really good. Like last night was the first night here by myself. And I slept. I slept pretty good. It took me a while to get to sleep. I don't think I'm going to have that issue tonight. In fact, I'm probably going early. And uh, then I woke up early peed went back to sleep and i slept and like i said i thought i was late this morning which i was an hour early and uh, me and clocks i barely look at the the things and uh, so yeah i have to i'm learning for me to actually catch it i probably set an alarm but like, I showed it when it was needed down there. Like, it was perfect timing, actually. And that's what I go for, is just perfect timing. Um, and that is not generally aligned with clock. But, you know, if I, I have my little world clock, and any of y'all that I kind of really dig, or places I kind of want to keep up with. I keep in my world clock and I can see what time it is where you are. And, uh, you know, it's not always 420 somewhere, but we can 420 somewhere anytime. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to go have a bit of Pocololo, my tea, and I'm going to go to bed early for my... Uh, self-love and choosing me. I'm going to go to bed early today. What are you going to do today to choose you and choose to love yourself? I'm giving an extra double dose because it's day two. And uh, moving towards that 8-8, um, eight, eight, which is, you know, the union of the, the masculine and the feminine internally, heros, gamos. Um, I'm starting to think about what I might want to do for my wedding ceremony to myself. Um, I've claimed it, but I haven't ever done, like, some kind of little ceremony for it. And, uh, I think this year might be the year for that. A year. <laughs> a spin. It's a spin. A run on the spiral. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to quit rambling and uh, go inside and do my Arenda uh, video and then go to bed. Peace, love, aloha. Uh, may you have sweet dreams, awake and asleep. And may your heart open and you have divine inspiration uh, for following the path that is aligned with the heart, with the earth, with the earth, uh, and love, love. Mm -hmm. Ah.